That's where you will have to right. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Thank you. What a
time this morning. Like I said, a couple of subjects I'm going to touch on this morning. First one uh, called Preaching in Vain. And if you want to stand, I, I will read the verse together. We'll be reading Genesis 6, 16. Yes. Mm -hmm. I says it's not all about what you do. 
And sometimes it's just about having a relationship with me. And God said, forgive me for what I'm not know. He says, oh, thank you for opening up my eyes so I can see. And once he's seen himself, then he can see God for what yeah. God truly is. And that's love, pure love. Thank you. And so, like you said, we go back to Genesis, and then, like you said, he learned to walk with God. Yes. And we think about um, how even far back is Methuselah. Now, we know Methuselah literally walked side by side with God. And this was before Noah's day. And, um, and when God finally told me, he says, uh, he told me, you see here, Part here for you to get back to. Um, uh, Genesis 6 3. Uh -huh. And the Lord said, My spirit it shall not always strive with man, for that he also is flesh. Yeah. yeah. Yet his days shall be a hundred and twenty years. So, like I said, the days prior to Noah, uh, Noah. God actually walked with man. So now he can conversate with him, walk with him, and stuff like this. The man had got so wicked that he turned around and he decided he wants to destroy. But like I said, God's a, a, a loving God, but he's also a just God. Yeah. Yes. Yes. And when he had Noah built the ark, Noah would pre was preaching to everybody, all men. He said, he said the Lord is the Savior. Come with me. And then, like I said, they mock, mocked him. They teased him. Mm -hmm. They ignored him. He had a whole congregation of seven. That was Noah's congregation. He had the whole world. He was a salvation to the whole world. Mm -hmm. His congregation was seven. And that was his people. And he was trying to tell everybody, you know, this, this is the time to, to, to save yourself from the wickedness of the world. Mm -hmm. And eventually the flood, of course, everybody knows the flood came and everybody passed, you know, like I said, it, it, it took everybody. Yeah. God's word came, like I said, God's word is a living God. It is a, a living word. And yeah. like I said, even from the beginning, because man is so busy trying to change the Bible. In, in the beginning, yeah. God created heaven and earth. Yeah. And in the back, God also wrote, shall no man change the word. Yeah. And so like you said, but we so busy in this world today with the wickedness out there. Everybody trying to make their own religion and make their own different way to go. But we, I'm here to serve God. I'm here to follow God yeah. and do what he wants me to do. Yeah. And even after the time of Noah is that, you know, and God knew that the wickedness of man was great in the earth and that every imagination of the thought of his heart was only evil continuously. Yeah. And it repented the Lord that he had made man on the earth. Mm -hmm. And it grieved him at his heart. And the Lord said, I will destroy man whom I have created for the face of the earth, mm -hmm. both man and beast, and the creeping things and the fowls of the earth, for it repenteth me that I have made them, but Noah found grace in the eyes of the Lord. Grace. Yeah. Thank you, yeah. We thank the Lord for his grace and his mercy. Yeah, yeah. His grace, he didn't have to save nobody. No, no. He didn't have to. He, he did that from his love. Yeah. And that's what we do on now is that we just be thankful for the grace that God has put before us. But like I said, I had a couple of, and, and the other thing is, um, is, is, that I was going to say, is walking in somebody else's head. And as the pastor was saying earlier about the kids and stuff nowadays, that is so true. It's because so many of our kids walk into somebody else's head. Yeah. And like I said, this little girl, she uh, she was staying at home and her mom was working every day. Right. And she would wait till her mom would work and she had a little friend. A little friend would come over and say, oh, well, 
let's, let's go out and have some fun. Let's, let's do this and let's do that. And uh, our kids are so susceptible that, like you said, we should be pray for them. But she went on with this girl. And when she got to the house, they'd have a little house party there. And uh, so the, they had a little, they was, they was drinking and doing drugs. And she was like, come on, let's, you know, let's do this and let's do that. And, and got there, and some, of course, there was some managed boys there, too. And, yeah. and so I said, the girls messed around, and, and the boys took advantage of this girl. Mm -hmm. and so after the party and everything, she went home all ashamed and everything, because they had, uh, took advantage of her. All right. And about three months later, she ended up coming up pregnant. Yeah. So she couldn't hide that. She didn't tell her mom what happened, because she was you know, ashamed of what she did, because she was yeah. being what we call disobedient. And so, like you said, they, uh, she ended up being pregnant. Her friend would come over and she found out. She said, guess what? She said, well, I'm not pregnant. And they was just ready to graduate from high school. And like I said, this is now, now she done follows this other girl into what she thought was fun. Uh, yeah. And now the graduation coming up, she can't even feel the graduation now. Yeah. She, she only was showing nine months. And she can't can feel graduation now. She can't yeah. graduate. In, in town, but she did graduate. Later on, a friend told well, I'm going to college. And she said, well, I gotta stay here and take care of my baby. Right. I said, okay, well, I'll see you later. So I see they done gone on with their life, and by her following this oh, other girl, she done slowed her <coughs> life down. Yeah. 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 And, and like I said, it, it ain't just girls either. And then we got the boys, the same thing. Right. Right. Yeah. 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 I'm, I'm not gonna step on the girl. And not step on the board. Yes, These boys are the same way. Get out there, you tell them, well, I said, y'all, we got a prayer meeting the other night. And these young men need to show up and come to prayer meeting. Oh, no, we going to party. I my friend got a car, and we're going to go ride, man. Okay. So they go out and hop in the car, and we ride and ride. And next thing you know, they, they sit there, they doing the same thing. They smoking and <coughs> drinking and doing drugs and everything. And Ain't no big deal, you know, and stuff. And then next thing you know, your friend pull up to a liquor store. Uh, hey, you, know, you got any money? No, man, I ain't got no money. You got any money? No, man, I ain't got no money. Yeah. Well, a couple of them get out and walk in the liquor store and rob the liquor store. Uh, they, come running, they come running back out, jump in the car, and take off, and I'm not police chasing you. And they shooting at the police, and the police shooting at them. And you sitting in the back of the car, you riding in somebody else's tail. Right. Yeah. Because of decisions, the disobedience that we do will end, end us, let us end up riding somebody else's hell. So oh, God, yeah. to follow God, God will not lead you in the wrong way. Yeah. 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 Be obedient to Him, do what He wants you to do. But like I said, yeah. the devil's always busy. He trying to, he always trying to destroy you. Yeah. 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 If it ain't you, it's your family. Yeah. You work, you work hard is. Only those closest to God. Yeah. If, he, if he already got you in his back pocket, why, why are you going to work on it? Yeah. Okay. Come on now. If, 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 but if you're trying to get, get right with God, get closer to God, he, he going to mess with you. Yeah. And that's where the Lord comes. That's why we have to stay prayed up. Yeah. We can't let, let the devil turn us around. Yeah. And like I said, there's just so many things out here that you know, we could get messed up in. Amen. But like you said, again, uh, I was going to reiterate that God is a good God. Yes. He has brought me a long way. And I, I thank Him for all the blessings that He has told me. He didn't have to uh, bless me the way He did. Mm -hmm. if, if the way things is, I should have been dead and gone on. Yeah. Uh, but he's been good to me. Mm -hmm. And I thank him. Like he said, the son came, sent his son down here, his only begotten son. Yeah. 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 And like he said, they took him and he tried to tell men that there is salvation. Yeah. But then no, nobody wanted to listen to him until they turn around and try to crucify him. Yeah. Come on they now. Thought, they thought, well, he, he's just an abomination. He's trying to tear our church down. He's trying to do this and he's trying to do that. But he had so many people following him. They said, why? 
Why are you following that man? I said, he's, he's talking against what the old religion was. Right. And I said, the new religion is that you have a chance of everlasting life. Amen. Come on now. now. The time. Yeah. Don't, yeah. don't wait till it's too late. Long as you got breath in your body, yes. you can make it. Yes. God yes. is a good God. Yes. Yes. He will yes. put his arms around you. God yes. hurt yes. arms and dangers. Yes. They took him on up and they whipped him. Until he bleeds. Yeah. They whip him until his blood run down. Yeah. yeah. Come on now. They turn around. Yeah. And they hung him. Yeah. Right out on the cross. Yeah. They put him on the crown. Yeah. On his head. Yeah. But that crown right. represents yeah. the kingdom of heaven. Yeah. Oh Lord. Yeah. Oh Lord. Yeah. It's all right. Yeah. I'm glad. I'm so glad to be here this morning. Even the devil shows up at the prayer meeting. Even the devil show up at church. But I thank him. Whatever trials and tribulations you're going through, God is away. If you're drinking, he can heal you from drinking. If you're doing drugs, he can heal you from drugs.
grateful, Lord, that they hardly is. They feel it don't come to me, Lord. They feel it don't come to me,
But you gotta call him on it. Yeah, yeah Lord. Lord. Yes. Mm -hmm. And like I said, I just thank you, Jesus, and with that, with the door to the church is now open. Yeah. Amen. The doors of the church is open. It's gonna rain. It's gonna rain. You better get ready.